What is up, planet? It is The Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's reading, I'm going to be looking at the financial life that you were meant to live in this lifetime. So overall, this is going to be insight on your finances, money, career, and everything to do with wealth. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the Tarot Tribe, where we embrace many, many meaningful messages here centered around truth, love, life, purpose, everything that you could find in depth spiritually you will find on this channel so in this reading i really want to look at your financial life that you're meant to live if you guys have not already signed up for the soul journey webinar for this month remember you can always stream it later so even if you can't catch it you can always find it on my website thetarotpriest.com to find re-recordings of past soul journey webinars in this month's topic we're going to be talking about removing limitations around your finances so if you are looking to increase your financial abundance or also remove limitations that could be hindering you from receiving more money in your life then this is going to be a webinar that you want to check out you can find that in the description tag along with the pinned comment last but not least if you guys are looking to book a life coaching session of reading or a business consulting session, you can find that link in the description box below as well. All right, I have four different decks that you can choose from. Deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. Remember the question is, what financial life am I meant to live? And whichever deck pulls towards you or resonates most with you is probably going to be the correct deck for you. All right, let's hop into today's reading. If you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading in what financial life were you meant to live? Truth, prosperity begin. So deck number one, already we have prosperity begin. So you are meant to have prosperity in this lifetime. Now the prosperity in lies with you following the truth of financial abundance. Also, your beliefs around money, right? Seeing it's a money tree. The roots are also your thoughts around money. So with this money tree, what I'm feeling very heavily is that it's a very important for you to know what the truth is about money, what the truth is about finances, so that your thoughts around them, the limited thoughts, are also considered weeds around your tree, your money tree, your harvesting. And so this life that you're intended to live is prosperous but based on the truth of it nine of swords this isn't going to be something that you have to work very hard to get also when i'm getting deck number one so this isn't going to be something that you have to overthink this is going to come very natural to you so the prosperity that you're going to have is going to come from natural seeds in your life that you have planted whether that's businesses whether that's job opportunities we have the king of cups here so whatever you're intended to do financially in this life so the path that's going to lead you to this prosperity is the path of truth and again if you believe that you're not intended to make more money then in fact you will create that reality for yourself because we have truth here so deck number one spirit is holding you to a higher standard financially because this standard is what's going to give you the prosperity in your life we also have the gathering. So many of the prosperity that is coming to you is not just for you, but it's also for your family and your friends. So many of you maybe desire to have big homes, not just for you, but to have company, to have events, to have gatherings at your house. So you are connected to prosperity for the purpose of being able to manifest these dreams. So I do see deck number one, you have some pretty big goals and pretty big dreams here. I also sense that you will bring people together and I do sense that you are meant to be the abundant one in the few. Okay. So you might find yourself struggling to get to this prosperity or financial abundance in your life, but I am seeing that financial freedom is here for you to obtain. So the prosperity that begins is going to start with the thoughts that you start thinking about with money and poverty and lack. So the five of Ariel is actually representation of poverty. So if you have any thoughts that are hindering or are opposite of prosperity, that are going against prosperity, it would be helpful to you to start removing them. It says you need not go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. 
So some of you are creating the reality that you're experiencing, but you're here to, again, experience a prosperity of a lifetime. So help is nearby. I'm also sensing that some of you may find yourself in jobs or going from a job or going to another job. And it's almost like these temporary jobs are what's able to keep you afloat. The energy is gaining momentum. Let's see what else here. The magician. So yeah, you're coming up as the magician. Your purpose is also centered around manifesting the life of your dreams, deck number one. So if you guys chose this deck, Spirit is saying that you got it right, or maybe you doubted it, but you're here to manifest the life that you want. <laughs> it says you can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. But some, for some reason, deck one, those of you who are entrepreneurs or you have projects or you have these certain things in mind that you really wanted to do, I'm hearing very clearly that Spirit is saying you must start somewhere, okay? You must start it. Many of you may even have really great ideas, but you must have more than ideas. Number one is the magician. You must be able to materialize these dreams. So what you need will magically transform and appear. But most importantly, it's important for you to understand that the manifestation that you're here to have is put in your dreams for a reason. It is not being greedy. It's not being entitled. It's just simply the experience that you desire to live here, which is an abundant one of prosperity. One that's able to provide for your family and your friends. One that's able to bring people together. Some of you have dreams of going to places, but sometimes it's nice to be able to take care of those that cannot afford to go. So you bring them on board. I'm seeing that this is the type of life that you're here to live. So instead of just having these ideas, start something. Start something, even if it's starting small, simply start. Okay, we also have the, uh, the eight of Ariel. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education and training. So this additional education and training could be in your job. So what is it exactly that you need to do in order to live the life that you're dreaming of? That's the truth here. And some of these jobs that you might find yourself in are not permanent jobs. They're just temporarily giving you the additional education that you need. Now, there is more money for you to have, deck number one. And money is not a bad thing. That's another thing that's coming up. And that's the truth. It's like, what do you believe about money that, that has become true? Now, if you believe that working hard is how you have to receive money, you will create that exact reality. So the Wheel of Fortune... Again, you could be in a loop just based off of one negative thought about money. If you feel like you never have enough of it, you know, there are so many different limitations here. All right. The wheel of fortune. I trust whatever the universe brings me. So your connection in becoming this magician is also knowing who you are on a soul level. Okay. The fate. So this is something that's just in the stars. It's destined for you to obtain more financial success in your life is here and destined for you to have. The biggest thing is also what I'm sensing is just trusting people when it comes to money. Maybe you've had some bad situations around money. So now that has also transferred into your relationship with money. Sometimes we can have those remnant feelings or if we see our family struggling growing up and we start developing these perspectives of what money is. Okay. So whatever this is for you to have in this lifetime, it's destined for you. So let's get some clarity on why the eight of Ariel is here. Eight of Ariel, one card for eight of Ariel. Thank you. Seven of cups. Yeah. And then also some of you might have a lot of ideas, which is fine, but you still have to start somewhere for something to, to generate here. Okay, we have the Empress. I create what I choose naturally with joy. So many of you are creators. Okay, many of you just have a dream to live life and create and manifest and live the life that you dream of. It sounds too good to be true, or maybe it doesn't. If it doesn't, then you're on the right track. But if it does sound too good to be true, then you would have to determine why you feel that way so you can remove that and experience this prosperity in your life. So the Empress is the mother card. This is all about being able to birth, being able to create new projects, 
someone who is also able to build a business. Okay, so some of you are business owners, some of you are entrepreneurs with ideas, maybe you haven't started, maybe you have. Two of Cups, I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. So this is also about your money. You are worthy of money. You are worthy of having more money. You know, start getting comfortable with those thoughts. Two of Swords. So most of this is just the confusion of what the truth is. Is money bad? Is it not bad? How do I feel about it? Okay. What are your emotions towards it? What's confusing you about it? What's confusing you as to why you maybe haven't believed that prosperity? And sometimes we look at the number and that's where we get tripped up. We let the number define how much money we have or we let the number define how much abundance we have. Okay. Now who you're becoming, believe in yourself. So this is all about your beliefs. Deck number one, the life that you're meant to live is one of abundance a lot of money, enough money that it spills over into your kinship, your community, enough money that it's able to take care of the people you love. But you must believe in yourself and you must also believe in the truth of money. And that is that money is a resource that is here to allow you to be free. We'll be talking about that in the Soul Journey webinar. Fox, clever. So some of you do have very clever ideas. You are swift, you are smart, Solutions to problems are found easily. Some of you may find solutions to problems. Um, again, that's where the entrepreneur, the inventor comes out, finding those solutions, creating things. Chances are if you can't find it, it doesn't exist. And it's an opportunity for you to create that. Always listen to your instincts. Resources surround you. Okay, so be open to resources surrounding you. Let's see what else is here just to confirm why. The fox came out for what life they're meant to live financially. That's one. Thank you. Oh. All right. So we have the artist. So some of you could be artists in love to create. Yeah. We have just creators to just create. Okay. But not knowing maybe where to start. Yeah. Not knowing where to start exactly. So Spirit is saying start somewhere even if it's small and allow yourself to begin to water this tree of money. Okay. This money is going to allow you to manifest the life that you want. It's necessary for you to manifest the life you want here on earth. Okay. The biggest thing is going to be trusting people when it comes to you having more finances in your life, being able to trust people that they have the best intents and motives for you. The reason why I say that is because we do have the treachery card here with the seven of swords. So be very careful and open to how it is you spend your money too. Remember that how you're spending it is where you're investing your energy. So there's just many, many things for you to learn. Believing in yourself, 10 of cups. So you're here to live an abundant life, one of riches and also one of a luxurious lifestyle. And it sounds like a dream, but that's what you're here to achieve. And many people are going to be blessed from this. Okay, so the energy will begin to build momentum. The chariot here, we have cancer energy here. Also earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, this is gonna be about just getting this started and not overcomplicating it either. That's some, for many of you, this is the life that you are intended to live financially. We're gonna get one more card. One more card for death one. King of Pentacles in reverse, the Emperor in the Tower in reverse. The last part that's very important to this financial life of yours is to become the Emperor of your own financial stream. Okay, I'm seeing that many of you, like if jobs did not happen or did not work out, that's good because it allowed you just a temporary education that you got from there. You got a little bit here, but this is also for you to create your own stream of income. So you might find that maybe a hobby for those of you who still are doing the corporate thing, you have a hobby or an entrepreneur endeavor that's going to allow you to become an emperor. So being confident that you can create this for yourself is something that's going to be really, really big. So deck number one, this is luxurious. And it's also prosperity that's beginning. So you may deal with many things that have to do with financial lack thoughts. And that's because universe is triggering you so that you can remove it 
and receive more. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading in the financial life that you were meant to live in this lifetime. So remember to follow your dreams because they're truly the DNA to your soul. So they have the answers that you're looking for and that includes prosperity. Also, if you guys have not already signed up for the Soul Journey webinar, you can find that down below for the financial uh, limitations, but also you can find it on my website if you do miss it based on what time you're here. TheTarotPriest.com, you guys can find that. All right, I'm moving on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading in the financial life you were meant to live. All right, let's see. King of Ariel, this is a great card to get deck number two. This would be like someone who's very successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. So right off the bat, you guys are getting the answers that you've come for. And that is truly to be accomplished, stable, successful, and powerful. Now the power comes from obviously the financial success that you have. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. Nine of Raphael, make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. So the money, the resources, they're going to allow you to create your dreams here on earth, okay? Very quickly. So this is also a beautiful time for you to position yourself. Some of you could be entrepreneurs, you could have your own practices, you could be working for someone else, but in a very directive way that allows you su success or you're here to do that. You're here to be a leader of finances and also one in authority of finances. I'm also hearing that your financial stream is going to come and should come from what really does bring you happiness. A lot of the finances that you're here to obtain, deck two, is to travel the world and to explore. So money allows you to be able to do this, okay? The higher font, we have Taurus energy, we have the five of cups, so I do feel like emotionally many things could get in the way of you being able to make this happen. So, you know, you will have your circumstances, you will have your obstacles that you have to challenge in order for you to become this person. So embrace those challenges. Again, we have the Nine of Cups, satisfaction. Your life is meant to be a life of satisfaction. It's very, very clear. So there's no time to dwell on the things that don't happen because really the things that are happening are outweighing uh, many of the success that you're looking for. We also have spring and spirits of spring, freedom, action, and power. So you're here to live a very freeing lifestyle. So financial freedom is gonna be something that's here for you. Entrepreneurs for sure, um, even people who want to position themselves to be directors or experts, that opportunity is here for you. So anything that you're here to manifest a lot of money, okay? I'm just gonna say that, there's no way around that. This would be a lot of money, more than six figures, uh, for those of you, seven figures, and this is the life that you're here to live. Now, your beliefs around money are going to be very important. Your beliefs about what your own value of yourself is going to be very important because it has a lot to do with the money that you manifest. So you're here to live a financial freeing lifestyle, meaning living how you want, where you want to go, how you want to do it. This isn't from an entitled spirit. This is from the connection that you have with creator the creator of you and universe. You have this connection to that. So action and power, most of this is gonna be confirmation. Many of you could have already had dreams about where you want to be, dreams about the water, dreams about islands, certain things of that nature. Yeah, the water's here, positive movement forward. Okay, keep holding this vision I'm seeing deck two of your dreams and what you want to experience here on earth because it's coming, it's becoming real and it's becoming true. Yeah, obstacles and challenges. So you will go through those obstacles and challenges, but what they're doing is they're creating who you're becoming. You're becoming the king of Ariel. So it doesn't matter if you're a male or a female, this is gonna be masculine energy. This is gonna be someone who doesn't wait for someone to write them a check. They know how to create this source of abundance for themselves. So let's see what this king of Ariel is here for. Deck two. What is it? Yeah, this is going to require you to take many leaps of faith, many leaps of faith with the full card here. Um, many of the times you take these leaps, you might even have your eyes closed because you're not sure why you did it. You will be, you know, jumping out this spiritual window a lot. 
you know, trying to go after these dreams and your excitement. That's where the answer to many of your successful ideas are gonna come from and successful re revelations. All right, so something I'm getting to for deck two is you might feel like you were drawn between two and three, but I also wanna say that you might feel like you haven't really found what that thing is that brings you that passion. Why is the Ace of Wands here? So maybe you haven't, yeah, you haven't found exactly what it is that's going to bring that in now. Don't focus too much time on the what and the how. Focus more on the energy behind the project or what it is that you want to do, okay? Because there's a path to this financial success. And it's not going to look like everyone else's path, so you cannot compare it to one another. But just know that positive movement towards the sun, towards your happiness, is what's going to bring you the most clarity when it comes to okay what do i love what do i want to put my energy into what is it that really makes me feel good and feel fulfilled so i see that some of you um deck three is going to be a more advanced deck of where where you're going and so this is also where you're going but i'm feeling like ahead of you with where you are now there are obstacles and challenges here one of them being what exactly do you love okay what exactly do you love to do? What are you passionate about doing? Prosperity lies ahead. Here's another confirmation. There is prosperity here. We have Taurus energy, but it's going to require some practical planning. Okay, we have the spirituality, but we have practicality. How can you bring value to other people's lives? How will you bring value? Time to go. Also, to get to this place, it's going to require many of you to sail away from certain situations, including your jobs, including jobs that restrict creativity. Now, you know what jobs these are. These are the jobs in your cubicle that you're in hours. You know, those of you who have been through that, I've been through that. I remember when I had my cubicle, I never decorated. And my managers would be like, hmm, Brie doesn't have anything up. Yeah, because I'm not here to stay. <laughs> this is temporarily, this is a passage. I know that I'm not here to stay, but you must know that you're not here to stay. So that's what I'm here to tell you is that there's more for you. There's prosperity that lies ahead and your dreams are gonna become true from that. So the feminine energy with the queen of cups in reverse and finding what you love, it's like, what is your baby? What is your baby project that you can put this love into that can come out? It doesn't matter what it is that you love. It could be backpacks, it could be makeup, it could be sewing, it could be sailing. Um, it could be eating, cooking, many, many things here. But the reason for the slow movement financially, and again, when I say financially, I mean creating your own stream, because you do have your own stream of income. Many of you can get into gardening too. I'm hearing that for some of you, for a few of you. The emperor is here. Again, we have Aries energy. So not taking action towards where your freedom lies. Okay, freedom, money, that's like the twin sisters in a sense. Freedom is a resource that enhances okay you towards freedom so instead of having to wait next year to book that trip with more finances you can book it today you can leave today depending on how much you have so it is an enhancer to get to the things that bring the most joy to you now it is not joy itself don't ever get that twisted it is not joy itself but your intuition is going to lead you there my intuition guides me to the truth the truth is that you are here to receive more money, more prosperity, and to live a prosperous life, okay? So with the high priestess, this is gonna be someone who is also going to be you, connected to finances is also someone who's gonna be connected to energy. So remember that money, it is a frequency, okay? So with the high priestess, let your intuition guide you to more of it. Nine of swords, I trust the present moment. So this is understanding that right now, you are in a space of attracting and wanting to attract this uh, six to seven, eight figure, nine for some of you. Again, it's where you're limited, you know? <laughs> so that's the coolest thing about it. What everyone else wants has nothing to do with what you want, but where are you limited at financially? Okay, we're gonna be talking about that in the Soul Journey webinar. The truth is in the present moment also. So having the confidence, it's like step one is first, finding what you're passionate about, right? And then taking that leap of faith to taking that confidence and leadership three towards it. You know, this is gonna take time and that's okay, but where do you start also is planning. Where do you wanna go? 
Where is your happiness? Strength, so we have Leo energy. I can deal with whatever comes my way. So that's good too, because all of the obstacles and challenges, again, they're giving you many, many aspects and many, many benefits to your life. One of them being strength. They're giving you more strength, using resources wisely. So that's something that I'm hearing too, is where you're deciding to place your money. Remember where you're placing it is where your energy is going. So who you're becoming around this financial lifestyle that you're here to live is you're going to become the badger, the fearless and the bold one. So this isn't going to be someone who's afraid to be open to making more or afraid to making these decisions that will result in more freedom and prosperity. Okay. So we have success and accomplishment and powerful. So many of you may even become directors, managers, supervisors, um, head chiefs, CEOs of other company, uh, chief managers. There's many, many different uh, careers here. So a key to your financial success and lifetime here on earth is the dolphin energy. And that's a lot of water here. Again, play. So swim in the happy joy of living, inhale confidence and exhale fear. Dive into your wisdom, go with the flow. So going with the flow, going where your heart's desire is, that's location, that's job wise, that's career wise. So there are many different steps and approaches that you're gonna take to this, but you're here to live fulfilling and accomplished. That's what I'm getting. Successfully fulfilled is what you're here to do and how you get there is by playing more. So this isn't going to be you taking it seriously, studying, going crazy in the books. Yes, you can research, get excited about it, but most importantly, where you're playing, where you're most excited, where your inner child lies is where you're going to find most of your passion. So that's also a key for you. Deck number two is finding this passion and what you really love. This fulfillment is going to come from your inner child. This is something that you love to do very naturally. You might not see it as a career. Okay. But be open. Cause again, I didn't see this as a career. I was a very logical person. No one could tell me that this was going to be my career. But here I am only because of openness and allowing spirit to guide me. So I am feeling like your career might not look like everyone else's career. Some of you might be pioneers of new careers and opportunities, meaning you may forge this new position at your job. It doesn't exist, but someone wanted to create it around you because of the power that you had. So pay attention to playing and having fun because what you're going to notice is where all the money is, is where all the fun is. <laughs> so just think about it. Think about the top industries and where all the fun is and the entertainment is the sports, everything that we, we enjoy playing, right? We're watching to see them play. And that's something that's very important is that it's not going to be in a logical approach. This is going to be a very spiritual um, this is also going to be a very soulful approach and one that allows you to be happy and enjoy yourself and fun. This is going to be the key to that. Any other messages for deck two? Financial life there meant to live one card. Okay, so we have the death card. Okay, we have Scorpio energy. So yes, this is an ego death. So this person is almost like a version of your higher self, who you're here to be, the lifestyle that comes with it. So your greatest version attracts your greatest lifestyle. So that means that some things, even about you, beliefs around money, about you have to end. So the death isn't always scary, but sometimes the way you spend money, the way you use your resources, the way you feel about it, they need to die in the sense of the beliefs of lack right? For instance, needs to die. Um, believing that or doubting that you cannot live this life financially of abundance, it needs to die. So death isn't always bad. Sometimes death is good when it comes to things we really want to end. And in this sense, it's going to be poverty and things that do not belong in alignment with success or accomplishment. So any thought that goes against you being powerful, accomplished, successful, or stable is not the truth. And those are the beliefs that you're gonna to have to work on reading. So if you guys show us deck number two, this is your reading for the financial life you are intended to live. Great things to come, deck number two. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys. And I can't wait to see all of these revelations that come forth 
in your life. So remember to have fun and allow that abundance to come in. Moving on to deck number three. If you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading in what financial life you were meant to live. The pathway, direction, purpose, and change. So many of you could be a light worker or feel like you're a healer, could be connected to, heavily connected to purpose, and also could be coaching, could be life coaching, anything that has to do with light working or psychic work, gifts, spirituality, that is going to be the connecting point to the answers for your financial life you're meant to live, but it also is going to be the pathway to this financial life that we're going to reveal today. So let's see what that is. We have the 10 of Ariel. So the 10 of Ariel says, there is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success in the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. So, so many of you could experience early retirement is what I'm hearing. And then we have a rich and rewarding family life. So this could be marriage, a partner that is also financially stable. So this would be like an empire coming together for some type of financial benefit. We also have the leap of faith, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. So the 10 of Ariel is also fulfillment. So financially, it would be that you are meant to live a very fulfilling life. So whatever that is to you, whatever brings fulfillment. Now it's very important. I'm hearing that you rid any beliefs around why you feel like you may not deserve this or having more than enough is greed. Anything to do with those low frequency thoughts are going to hinder this fulfillment. So out of 10, you received 10 for the financial success. So this would be wealth. This could be generational wealth that you are here to obtain in this lifestyle, in this lifetime. So it is also based on believing in yourself. The leap of faith is spirituality is going to be a really big key to your financial success in this lifetime. Practical wisdom would be to surrender to the divine. So again, you're going to find most of your financial success through your spiritual journey. Spiritual journey, not complicating it, but just meaning being in tune with your soul or self. You and your loved ones are safe. So this is also the fulfillment of finances for your security and protection. Many of you, if you could, would have security to a higher degree and protection to a higher degree. So because this is important to you, Financial increases are also going to be important to this pathway. Okay, we also have the Ace of Ariel. So it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support, a change in a job or promotion. So some of you could be experiencing that pretty quickly here in promotion, a, a shift in this very soon, actually. Let's see what else is here. The High Priest. Following your intuition, following what gives you joy is also going to help you manifest this financial life of abundance. So basically, if you guys chose deck number three, the word I would use for to describe your financial life is wealth. So again, we all have our limitations, but you are here to experience wealth in this lifetime. So wealth would be more than enough. Six figures, seven figures, eight figures, more than enough. Okay. You also got the magician and the ace of wands. So there will be a lot of passion projects for those of you who are authors, writers, speakers, entrepreneurs. Okay. This is a very artistic deck. So if you guys got this again, we have spirituality, creation, artistic, an artistic journey. And we also have the magician. So the very life that you dream of is the very life you are here to obtain. It's very, very simple, but what you're working towards is the doubts, the fears, the disbeliefs around those realities coming true in your life. So when I say that you're here to obtain wealth, the first thought that comes to your mind would be the first limitation that needs to be removed so that you can receive this wealth. It's going to require your faith. That's why spirituality is important spirituality, the unknown, the things we can't see. 
So with the leap of faith, in order to get into this abundant lifestyle, because you have an overflow more than enough, I mean, these two are eating, drinking coffee, tea outside of a cafe in Paris. So seven of wands, many of you might feel like there is conflict or competition with making more money, or maybe there's so much competition in making money. This can also create a scarcity mindset or lack in your finances by believing in that there is plenty of money and resources in finances to go around. That is the truth. There is plenty. In fact, there is more than enough. Let's see what your words of affirmations are. Ace of Cups, so your relationships are going to be very important to obtaining this. Uh, very, very important because many of you will scale businesses. You will have to hire people. Um, you have grand ideas, and I'm definitely seeing that. Three of Swords, I see things exactly as they are. I welcome new love and trust what it brings. So those things that bring you love could be even people. Those things that bring you love are also going to bring you inspiration. And this inspiration is what allows you to create the stream of abundance. So this inspiration is what fuels your creative endeavors. Queen of Swords, I protect what matters to me. Time for a nap. All right, let's clarify some of these cards. Financial lifestyle. Financial life that deck three was meant to live. Ace of Cups. Why is this here? Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Because you know what? We have the same exact cards that just came out. So now I have to touch on this. Okay. Ace of Cups, Three of Swords just came out again together. I've never in my life seen anything like this. So, okay, I might have to take a break and get back because wow, that's crazy. So your relationship, it seems like many of you could have a life partner that mirrors you. This could be a life partner, twin flame, soulmate. It doesn't really matter what the label is, but this is going to be a very specific partner in your life that also is creating the same amount of wealth. So I welcome new loving and I trust what it brings and I see ex see things exactly as they are. So the disappointment, letting go of what didn't work out, the discouragement, letting go of what didn't, um, who didn't say yes, what door didn't get answered, um, what door got closed in your face, all of this stuff, it's releasing that because I do see that it's important for you to be able to trust people, people to hire partnerships, um, collaborations. Some of you may even be content creators, collaborations. All of this is going to be very important. So with the three, this is usually a relationship. Let's see. All right, let's clarify why this Ace of Cups just doubled. Thank you. Find what you love. It's the answer to the wealth that you want to obtain. I'm also hearing that your spiritual journey, your spiritual awakening death, deck number three, um, we have the devil here too. At the very bottom of the deck, we have judgment. It is your calling, your calling and your purpose, right? Hashtag purpose for profit. I believe I did that last year or two years ago. So let's do that again. If you guys see this, if you pick deck three, hashtag purpose for profit, because what's happening is your purpose is what's going to bring you the most profit. That's pretty clear. Okay, you've seen that card fly out, you've seen this, so it's what you love, and what it's what gives you joy. That's where the answers to your financial success lie. Okay, so do what gives you joy because it's going to help you believe in yourself. See things exactly as they are, meaning follow the truth. <laughs> That's my motto. Okay, but there is harmony here and you are here to be very abundant, very, very wealthy investor, stocks. Okay, this is all going to be very important to you. All of this is going to be important, but finding yourself, finding the truth and finding purpose is what is also important. So how do you do that? It sounds complicated. Following your heart, following what gives you joy. It's very clear here. When you follow this pathway, and I also placed on my Instagram, for those of you who don't follow me, I made a post that says that sometimes the things we're most stubborn to do is the very pathway to happiness. Okay, so there's wealth here. There's wealth 
and also there is self-sufficiency. So you will create your own stream of abundance. This queen of pentacles doesn't need anything, is abundant, but it is all about what you love. Okay, so you guys will rebirth. You will have many births of projects. So just because certain things fail and don't work out, that doesn't mean you have to quit. Something else I'm hearing. Material and spiritual prosperity. Like, come on, hope. It's here. This is what's here for you. Material. So there's nothing wrong with desiring to have a fulfilling material lifestyle. Okay, don't get caught up in the cultivism of spirituality. This, this other spiritual stuff that says that you have to be in poverty or you have to lack or be in lack to be spiritual. Your spirit is abundant. Okay. Abundance is the nickname for your spirit. Literally is abundant. It's so abundant that it reaches all of us. And we are all here living and breathing the very breath of universe and source. It's very deep. Okay. So to desire to express yourself through material things there's nothing wrong with that. That is, in fact, part of your experience here on earth. Okay. But I'm he hearing very clearly that your purpose, okay, we have the high priestess, we have the magician, we have some heavy, heavy cards here. We have judgment, we have twin flame energy. And I don't, you know, really don't care about labels, but this is a partnership here too that's going to create some wealth in your life. Now, who you're becoming, you're reinventing yourself, you're rebirthing. The butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful. Okay, who you're becoming is what's most important. And that's who is attracting this abundant lifestyle of wealth. I mean, when I say wealth, I mean private plane. And not, not for greed, but many of you will have businesses where you will travel and speak. Many of you, those of you who desire that. Now, so you're becoming the butterfly. Many of you could be cocooning now not really feeling, you know, that you're most confident financially, but it's certainly coming. Act as if it is. I love it. Chameleon spirit. So act as if you already have it. Act as if you know that you're already abundant. Start looking into those trips to Paris, right? Start looking at the cost of it. Start being open to that. Okay. And then last but not least, who you're becoming in this financial world and what will help you get there. Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. So some of these people, places, things, circumstances, thoughts, self-sabotaging thoughts, doubt, fears, disbeliefs, there's many, many things here, must go, must be eliminated, must be erased. And this new invention of who you are, this reinvention of who you are, but you always were. It's the tricky thing. You've always been this person just kind of concealed beyond many, many different people that you've chosen to be, many lifestyles that you've settled for, you know, many uncomfortable times you had to get through times in your life. I'm really feeling like there is a story of success here for whoever chose this. So the people and everything that you have to let go of to get here and will get here will be worth it. So focus on what's sincere and who is sincere and also your intuition. What makes you feel good? What makes you feel joy is going to be the perfect compass for you to understand your feeling of intuition, your intuition radar. So this intuition radar that you have, that you're developing, you're developing through circumstances in your life, but most importantly, surrendering to the divine to source universe and higher self is going to be the best pathway to this financial success. So yes, like I said, this is, this is a whole nother status. This is the 1% status. This is the top 5% status of financial wealth that you are here to obtain in this lifestyle. However, the path doesn't look like the other 95 to 93 percentile. Remember they do something differently, the one to 5%. So there is wealth here that I'm seeing. For you guys who chose deck number three, stay focused, stay on your purpose, stay on that pathway to what means the most to you and what brings you the most joy. If you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number four. If you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading in what financial life were you meant to live? Let's see what we have to start. 
the healing temple of the lunar light, life cycles, energy healing, rest and rejuvenate. In seven of Ariel, you have invested wisely, have patience. So many of you will start to see some harvesting grow from the patience you've had with just allowing more finances. I'm also feeling like many of you maybe haven't been focusing as much on your finances as you could. Um, let's see what else we have. Yeah, cleaning it up. So, you know, the weeds around your money tree is what I like to call it. The thoughts around money, but also all of the things that need to be cleaned up. So another thing that I'm sensing is that what would really benefit you deck four is more of an emotional connection with money. So it even says making work fun. It's important to have balance working multiple jobs or projects at once. So many of you can find yourself in or have found yourself in working multiple jobs. So let's see what that's about. The lovers, I trust my knowing and I make a commitment. Death, Scorpio energy and the fool. Lot, a lot of emotions in the sense of heart chakra, rose quartz energy. So what you are, what you are emotionally attached to in life is what's going to bring you the most financial success. So for instance, if you're investing for your children to go to school or something around that nature, you would be, it would be easier for you to invest in safe. So they're saying that this financial life you're here to live is one that yes, it will take time. It will take pro uh, uh, some, a process for it to come into fruition. I'm, I'm sensing that there's a lot of emotional blockages here when it comes to your finances. Yeah. Emotional withdrawal. So a lot of the times how you feel is affecting how, what you're attracting, even abundant wise. If you don't feel good, you will not attract money. Um, you will not attract pretty much anything except for something or someone else who also doesn't feel good. So this is what you're learning. I, I'm sensing that for you are definitely an empath. Healing could be something that's connected to you. Now the empath is what you're feeling. So understanding that money and finances, these are frequencies. But I'm, I'm sensing that even if you're someone where money doesn't motivate you, like myself also, money didn't really motivate me, but being able to help others, being able to help my family, those around me that I loved was something that motivated me. So they're saying that even in your jobs that you're working, find the motivation. And some of these jobs I'm sensing for you guys might even be temporary to remind yourself that this is temporary until you get where you want to be financially. So... Yeah, it's, it has to do with how you feel about money. Ten of Pentacles is here though. So you are definitely here to have abundance. So there was only one other deck that got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is someone, she's sleeping in her palace. Um, she owns the palace, in fact. So this is a palace here. I know that we have temples. If you wanted more, you can have more. But I'm seeing that because your focus hasn't been on it, it might not be manifesting as quickly as you would want it to but it doesn't mean that it's not working. Okay. The first step to manifesting this, these money trees is to clean it up, clean up your foundation around money is what I'm sensing so that you can build something more successful. The cherry out, we have cancer energy. So yeah, your financial success is moving forward. But again, I'm finding that finding the gratitude behind it. So some of you might be working temporary jobs to where that finance does something for you so that you can do something else. So try to see the light of the situation, no matter where you're working or no matter where your career is at, because I am seeing that it is moving forward. Practical advice. A new romantic cycle begins eight of swords. So it's really where your focus is and your energy. The financial life that you're here to live is the one that you want to live. Deck four was the only deck that really got this type of response. It's like whatever you want to manifest, you can. And so I'm sensing even with the seven of Ariel, patience, allowing time for this harvest to, to grow. So let's get some clarity. Okay, let's get some clarity on what this is about with the love. It seems to be more of like an emotional withdrawal from everything when dealing with complicated relationships, step four. So we are, we do have the eight of swords here. It happens to be freedom, 
releasing yourself. As you see, they're very, they're binded here. They're bound. Why is the Eight of Swords here? What are they bound to? Strength. Having the strength to desire more for yourself. Also, you know, having the strength to go through this. I see rest and rejuvenate. You guys could have taken a really big financial setback or some type of discouragement financially uh, for you to forget that you can still have this abundance that you're desiring. Why is Ten of Pentacles here? Six of Pentacles. So something that you're giving energy into is not giving energy back to you in, in a way that you're able to reciprocate the value. So some of you may be working overtime, but it's not really worth it in the dollar signs. Okay, it's not really adding up here. And so some of you are worth more, so it will take that movement away from positions in your life, financially in careers, to position you to make more. Let's see why Clean It Up is here for their financial life. King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles would be a CEO, a director, a manager, supervisor, but most importantly, this is someone who is stable. So you guys could have been going back and forth with another deck. And if it is another deck, I talk a lot about the King of Pentacles. So this is someone who's very stable, independent, successful. And I'm sensing that this is the path that you are intended on being. It seems like it's going to turn into a very financial responsible life that you're gonna be living. So many people might ask for money, because they see that you're stable or you're always wise with investments. And if not, if you don't feel like you're there yet, this is where spirit wants you to get to with this clean it up. So the king of pentacles is coming out in reverse and I'm just gonna get clarity on this reversal for a king of pentacles for their the life they're into the deck for. Thank you. Justice, Libra energy, nine of wands. So this, this job or these jobs that you've been working could just take a lot out of you emotionally too and, and to the point where it's affecting your relationships and also just everything else in your life emotionally also not allowing your financial situation to determine how you feel about yourself because you are here to have more financial success but now it's about finding forward direction into allowing the success into your life Let's get some clarity on why the seven of Ariel is here for your investments. King of Wands, two of cups, seven of pentacles. So some of you could be working or have worked careers where there's, you know, you spent a lot of time there. That would be someone that's the seven of pentacles, but we have the seven of pentacles again, which means patience. Okay. So just because you're not seeing this show up in your account numerically, Focus on your energy behind attracting more money. So I do feel like you're an empath. So use that to your advantage. When What makes you feel good about money, but also being aware of what makes you feel bad. Because truthfully, deck number four, you're connected to money and finances on an energetic level. So if it does not make you feel good because you feel like you don't have it, or maybe you don't have it at the right times, or maybe people only care about it, you know, there's certain things that are repellents. So what else will help you with shifting your energy in manifesting a, a life that has security and stability is what I'm feeling for you. Deck four, there's always options to have more, but starting somewhere would just simply be to where you have stability and also independence financially. Okay. So that was something that's coming up. I'm sensing that your love life is definitely connected to your money as well and how you spend it, how you see it. It's a connection that you have when it comes to wanting it more when you have someone to share it with. Maybe there's a little bit more motivating factors behind it. They're just saying that that's the key is to find what those motivators are in your life. So we have the patience card and the progress. So you're planting seeds. Now, Spirit is saying to plant also those seeds that will bring you the most fulfillment in your life. So let's see, Take I take care of detail and stay in control. I actively hold true to my values. So Seven of Wands, this isn't about comparing yourself to other people and what they have. This is a journey between you and yourself. Okay, with the Page of Swords here. 
I always say that it doesn't matter what other people are doing because everyone has limitations. So the key is to focus on you and what may be limiting you from having a financial life of more. So I do see a financial life of stability, structure, and enough, plenty. So this means that if you're investing now, wise investments now are going to pay off in the future. Again, this could be buying property, buying gold, buying silver, buying stocks. I don't know why I'm saying that. I just know that spirit is leading me to some type of investments that you will have in this lifetime or how can money work for you so you're not having to work as much. I'm definitely seeing emotionally not wanting to have to work for money. And if you are doing something that brings you fun or happiness let's see who you become vulture nothing is wasted otter you are never alone so nothing is wasted let's see why that's here nothing is wasted one card to clarify for that poor financial life nothing is wasted okay so yeah this is a this is changing yeah changing your perspective seven of wands again seven of wands okay the competition the conflict with others that's here too you don't have to have conflict with others to have more financially but i'm also sensing that the inner conflict is going to be changing your perspective on the word wasted it's the scarcity mindset so you know wait i don't want to waste this or i don't want to waste that nothing is wasted so the vulture comes to remind us that even the things that people throw on the ground and it feeds the the ins around it, the birds, the mammals, it feeds others. So nothing really goes wasted and nothing is by mistake or coincidence. So that that mentality of feeling like you're wasting it or not doing it wisely or being hard on yourself about finances is also can close your fist off to receiving more finances. Okay. So when our hands are closed so tight with holding on, it's really hard to receive more for ourselves. So you're being asked to change your perspective around the conflict of how, how you have to make money, how you spend it, you know, so again, nothing is wasted. I met, I used to have this mentality of never wanting to waste something that comes from a scarcity mindset. Okay. So the life that you're intended to live is not one of scarcity. So let's see what that's about. Perseverance, Ram, you have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop deck four. We have patience here three times, rest and rejuvenate. So this rest and rejuvenate is going to get you to this right path of abundance. As you see, we only have a few cards that are really talking about finances here. And that's because many other things have been going on in your life, but you are definitely here to live a life of security. Now you also got never give up and good luck will follow. So this tells me that your perseverance to desire more financially is also here, which means that you're here to live a life of financial structure, stability, again, a, a solid foundation. This isn't coming from a place of worry either. This is a financial finances in your life that you're meant to have that doesn't come with just worry that also comes from having fun and not coming from having to overwork yourself or working multiple jobs to have them. But again, we have the two of cups here, relationships and your emotions are very important to what you're manifesting financially, how you feel about others when it comes to the industry that you're working in. Some of you could be in the same industry, a competitive industry, or maybe you don't want to get into something because it's competitive, or maybe you feel like the, everyone's fighting over the last pieces. I'm not sure what the scarcity mindset is exactly, but it's not true. There is enough for everyone and there is certainly enough for you too. Deck number four. So let's get the, the clarity that you need to manifest this abundance in your life, deck four. How do they attract this financial abundance in their life, Deck 4? Library. Take control of your own narrative. In Clover, release your guilt. So having more, feeling guilty for having more. See, it's all about how you feel. See how this is 
This is really playing a part on the money that you're attracting and the finances that you're attracting here is how you feel. So if you feel guilty about it, these are all thoughts and emotions that need to be cleared. So deck number four, the life that you are intended to live financially is going to be one that brings ease and peace. So that abundance, that extra money, because again, abundance is having more than enough. So that more than enough is actually energetically providing security, uh, a means of protection, a means of feeling like you have more than enough. That's the type of financial life you are intended to live. So if you feel like you never have more than enough, then that would also be the measurement you can use to see where you are financially. And then also just remember that to take control over your own narrative, that what you say goes. So if you say you have to work hard to earn a lot of money, that will be the reality that you create for yourself. So make sure that when you're creating, you're focusing on your highest desires. So if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and the financial life that you are meant to live. If you guys chose deck number four, I want you to hashtag down below, I am worth more. And this is just gonna be your signal to the universe that you are open for more coming into your life and allowing more to flow into your life. So in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next pick a card reading. Love and light to you all.